Hello everyone, my name is Michaela and this video is being brought to you today by CTSI Aloha. We are going to be making these beautiful little wax luminaries from hopefully leftovers that you will have in the house. So this is Crafting During Quarantine brought to you by CTSI Aloha. What we're going to need before we start is a pan that you don't mind ruining, leftover candles, uh, I used the base of ones like these, so they were burnt down to about here and I used about two of those. However, you can use about four of the smaller ones as well, or any scraps that you have lying around. The most important thing is the lighter the colour, the more luminescent the, um, the luminary will be. The more, it'll, the more it'll light up and the more you'll be able to see your flowers. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to prepare some wax. And the way that we're going to do that is by grating it. It's the easiest way, you can chop it up, you can buy pellets that are already pre um, sort of portioned out for you so that it's much easier to melt but the idea of this was just with scraps that you might have left in the house so if you've got half burnt candles just grate them down and use them. We're then just going to add all the wax that we've grated into the pan and again one that you're no longer going to use for cooking. Um, the bigger the better because it will depend on the size of the luminary that you're able to produce with the area that's in the pan. The other thing that you're going to need is filled water balloons or filled balloons with water. Um, these are perfectly fine as are normal balloons. This is a normal balloon and what I've done, just so that you can see here, is I've filled it up but left no air. Now the most important thing with this craft is that you cannot submerge the balloon with any air in it into the wax because if there is any air left at all then it will burst and you've got hot wax here so you definitely don't want that. So make sure your water is filled right up to the top, to the very, very top. So as you can see by this, the size of the luminary is going to be in between these two sizes that we've got here. And that is simply because of the size of pan that we're working with, um, this one. So what you want out from the balloon and the pan, you want to be able to submerge a balloon filled with water into a pan of wax. And you don't want it to touch the sides. So you just need to leave a little bit of room. We're just going to give it five minutes for that wax to melt and then we'll get making. Welcome back. So that's taken a couple of minutes to melt our wax. Um, and now we are just about ready to dunk our balloon. One thing that I did forget to mention that you will also need is PVA glue. Now this is solely for sticking your flowers on or your foliage. Um, but we will need that in a little bit as well. So we've got... I'll try and tilt this so that you can see. It's just about completely melted. I'm just waiting for the, the last um, parts to melt and then we are going to dunk the balloons. Now, this bit really worried me slightly, but it's fine and it will not burst as long as there is no air in this balloon. No air. It's got to be completely filled with water. Completely filled with water. So, once that's done, we're going to dunk it and we're going to do this repeatedly just about to the bottom. It's okay if you touch the bottom, it won't burst. Um, we're going to do this repeatedly about 15 times. Let's begin. Also, the more wax you put in, the, the more round the sides of the balloon. Just so you can see the first skin here. So that's one. And I'm just sitting on the bottom, so you can touch the bottom of the pan, it's fine. Two. And you just need to give it a few seconds between each layer to dry and this is you just hardening the shell. The water also moves in the balloon so just be careful because sometimes it can split and crack if you sit it on the bottom too much, if you rest it too much. And 15. So now after your 15 you will see that we have quite a thickness. It is uneven. Expect that, but we're going to, I'm going to show you how to neaten that up just later on. So I'm then just going to set that on the chopping board 
for a moment. And what we're going to do now is pick our flowers. I always think the full the foliage looks better, I think. You have to have some greenery on there. I do prefer it. Um, and these are just herbs that have been pressed from the garden or bits of fern. Just between two books, as I said earlier. And we've got some bluebells and things as well that we've pressed too. So your PVA you can apply it directly to the wax. I just by nature always use my hands um, for getting messy. And I'll just smooth a layer of the glue on there. And I'm going to press these on. Now they might not sit exactly flat and that's okay. You might have to apply more glue and that's okay too. Um, don't be worried about adding a little bit off and just wipe the excess glue off from round the sides after you've done that. <clears throat> I'm going to add another couple of bits onto the sides here as well. And just broke off so I'm just popping it on on its own like the wind's blowing it away like this so once you have as many flowers as you would like onto your luminary the next thing is to seal them on and we're going to do that by dunking it again and we're going to do that another 15 times just show you how it's looking Next thing, <clears throat> move the hot wax out of the way and we're going to go over to the sink and I'm going to burst the balloon in the sink. I need to give it another moment or two to cool. So after that's cooled, I'm just going to take this over and use a pin or a fork just to burst a hole in the balloon and then what we're going to be left with is the shell. We'll be back in one moment. So we have burst our balloon and this is what we are now left with. Now, as you can see, it's quite rounded on the bottom and it's also quite uneven on the top. So we're going to neaten that up just now and then we're going to finish it off by putting a little tea light in it and that's us done. To neaten it up, you need a, a frying pan that you're um, not that fond of. Or one at least you're prepared to clean very well, um, in my case. And all we're going to do is use a frying pan you can it doesn't have to be a frying pan you can use a baking tray a baking tray is probably better actually um, and just put that on top of the hob and then we're going to go in circular motions and this is going to straighten off the top edges we're going to do the same on the bottom if it's required this one's actually not bad because of how we placed it um, but if it is if it's a bit round and it's a bit rolling then just do the same technique on the bottom as we're going to do on the top here Can you see how that's straightened up already? And this is all just things that were lying about the house. There we go. And you add your tea light inside. 
and there's your luminary. I hope you enjoy making them. If you have any um, feedback at all, please drop it down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll bring you many more videos.